Okay, back to the cleaning. Got the oil. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on some cloth. Start at the opposite end of the piece of material so that when you get to the end you've got the oil on the outside. Like I say, you can use you can use tow for this, um, but I suggest you use whatever you've got, whatever you've got most of. Okay. Barrel's still quite warm. It's cool at this end. So we'll It down there. You don't want a lot of oil down here. In fact, I doubt if they actually oiled their guns when they were out in the wilderness. In the first place, the gun would have been loaded most of the time. But if you're going to store it, then you uh, you need to oil it. And don't forget, when you come to use the gun next time, you'll need to get some clean material and uh, dry material and run it down there, run it down the barrel to get that oil out again before you put the black powder in there. Okay, so this is just for this is just for storing it. Okay. We've already oiled the lock and we've just oiled the barrel. The same cloth you've used inside the barrel you can use to rub over the barrel. This barrel's in what they call white metal. In other words, it hasn't been browned and it hasn't been blue. Um, it's simply been left to, to fare in the weather and uh, it's not shiny anymore, as you can see. And uh, it gets a little bit of rust or so on it, but you just rub it over with oil and that's all I need to do. No special treatment. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put it back together again. The barrel came out last, so the barrel goes back in first. Now another thing to remember is when you pull it apart, try and put the pieces down in the order that you take them out. Okay. For instance, the back screw that goes behind the screws in behind the cock is going to be shorter than the screw that goes at the front. Okay. So if you put the wrong screw in the wrong place, you'll find this cock isn't going to work. Okay? So just remember that. If you take them out and put them down as they come out, you can't really go wrong. Okay. Put the barrel back in the same order that we took it out. enough. Okay. Move to the back. And we put the tang screw in. when you're doing screws up, try and do them up with the fingers first just to make sure you don't have them cross threaded before you start winding them in with the turn screw. Okay, barrels on. It's quick and it's easy. Now we put 
the locking. Just let the lock back off again. Place it in the mortise. Unscrew at this end. Now you can't see what I'm doing, but sometimes you've got a little bit of fiddling around to do to line the screws up. I think I showed you this before. It's just the two screws in the back. Okay, this is the screw that goes through, and it'll be behind the cock. Okay, so it needs to be the shorter of the two um, and the longer one at the front. Okay, don't need to do these up tight. Okay, again, do them up as far as you can with the fingers so you don't cross thread them. And then just pinch it up with the turn screw. And the important thing to do after that, okay. There's the gun back together, is to remember to try the lock. Because if you tighten one screw more than the other, or you've got the lock just a little bit out of true, it can affect whether the lock works or not. Okay? So try it on half cock, pull the trigger and make sure it doesn't go off. Okay? It shouldn't go off. Not that you ever trust a safety on a gun anyway, but it should work. Go to full cock, make sure that's working okay. Pull the trigger, and it's working okay. Okay? So that's just a precaution. Okay, that's it. All we need now is to get the ramrod. Ramrod back in. Final wipe over with the olive oil because I've had my fingers on the barrel and if I'm going to store it away, moisture from my hands on the barrel may well rust it. Doesn't hurt to go over the barrel over the stock as well. There's not a lot of olive oil on here, but it's uh, it's enough to help protect it. You can use linseed oil on the stock if you wish. And if you've got a leather sling on your, on your gun, you can use neat's foot oil on the leather. Um, but again, not too much because uh, it soaks in, it makes it very soft and you'll end up with a very limp leather sling. Okay. That's the, uh, that's the hammer boot. You don't really need to do much with that. There's really no point in oiling it because if you do, every time you put it onto the hammer, like that, it's going to spread oil onto the hammer face and you don't want that. So just leave that as is. That's another safety precaution so that when the pan's closed and you've got it on half cock, even if the half cock should go off, it will strike that leather and it won't spark and the gun won't fire. But again, never trust any of these safety features on a gun. Okay, keep it pointed in a safe direction. And that's the end of cleaning and maintenance on the muzzle loader.